just putting these pillar caps on now. So here they are, they're on. So it's been critical for the client when we start. Is, uh, we really want these to be level across at the end. So that one's on over there. Put that one on. Remember, we've gauged all this brickwork up from the foundation. So these two walls, we can keep an eye on it right the way through. The walls are level, so that when the gate's on, you don't get any discrepancies. So say the gate comes to here, the pillars were out the level, then obviously you'd see a discrepancy. One would look high, one wall would look higher than the other. So we got this straight edge that we've been using. We know it's straight because we've used it for the concrete base down there. We got this on, so it's the time now to put the level on top and see if we. Uh, See if we achieve level. So get up here, Brad. Got the level. I don't know if you can see that. So there we are. So to the client, if you're watching, then there we go. It's level. So we've managed to do that. So I'm pleased about that. Uh, you always worry whether you're going to get it right or not. So what we'll do, we'll. Um, We'll show you some more in a minute now when we do the other ones and how we bear them on. So bear with us. See you in a minute. Just in brick right again. So showing you these pillar caps now. So those two are on. Look over there. Brad can show you them. So we haven't jointed them underneath yet, mine, but they're on. So just wanted to show you if you're doing it, the best way to put your pillar caps on the we found. Now again, we do a lot of um, paving, porcelain paving, Indian sandstone, granite, all that kind of stuff. So we've pinched this stuff, which is called a paving slurry off the principle of being able to adhere slabs to the cement when we put that down. So what we've done, we've put a paint slurry on top of there now, which Brad's already painted on. He's painted it on the underside of the pillar. Now that will glue, in effect, the sand of cement to the pillar. And then the top of that will be put on top of the sand of cement and that will glue the top of the pillar to the sand of cement. So that's in, that's done. What we do now, so this is a Four and one mix that Brad's kindly mixed up for me. Same as the brick layer mix, you just put that on there like that. And then just manipulate it into where you want to put it. Try and keep your joint full. You want this joint across there full. So just bring your trowel across like that. Follow that around all the way around. Same there. Same on this side. You've just got to try and get it level by eye as best you possibly can. So that's it. So we've got that as level as we possibly can now. And then we're going to put that pillar on top of there. And when it's on, we'll show you it then. So we finished the pillars. So Brad's showing you them now behind me. So that's the finished wall. So if you come down here, Brad, we can show you this wall. We've taken a lot of time and effort to do this wall. Make sure it's right for the client and for us. Here we are. Here's the finish of it. Got these in now, so they're going to be for the um, for the hinges for the gates. That's all concrete for you down there. You got these pillars on, glued on, with all lights and letter boxes and VAR systems and cameras and all sorts of different electrics and electric gates going on. So come round here, lot. With these precinct tiles on with a brick on edge. That's where the letter box is going to be in there. And then, so if you just show them the finished article. Finish that one. And then if we just come over here, that's the finished radius. You see that in previous videos. And if you uh, come out here and just show them the top of that pillar there. So there we go. So that's the finish of it. That's the wall. So any questions on this pillar capsule on? You can see previous videos that we've been doing on this on this wall. Um, go back and have a look at them. Any questions on it, leave them in the comments below. And um, if you're going to subscribe to the channel, we'd really appreciate it just to keep the videos coming. Um, that'd be great. And um, see you soon. See you on the next one. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks. Stay safe.